Field bindweed is a noxious weed found in gardens, lawns, pastures, and roadsides, creeping along the ground or climbing up fences and other plants. It spreads rapidly through seeds and horizontal roots and should be controlled on your property. Bindweed is easily identifiable with white to pink bell-shaped flowers and arrowhead-shaped leaves. Controlling bindweed requires persistence. One control option is the bindweed gull mite. The bindweed gull mite is a safe biological control which can effectively reduce field bindweed infestations. The bindweed gall mite is a very small, almost microscopic mite. One way we can look for it is we're looking for leaves that are actually folding over prematurely. And we have a piece of this right here where the leaves are actually starting to fold over upon themselves. And the mite actually causes this to happen. How do we infest a field with this bindweed gall mite? Take your bindweed and actually lay and intertwine this infested piece into your healthy bindweed. Where is the best place to actually infest this bindweed mite? It would be in your dry, non-irrigated areas of your property. When you release this bindweed gall mite, the first question that comes to mind is, how long will it take before I can see results? Typically speaking, if you form what I call a little bindweed gall mite nursery, you're looking at about a couple months to start seeing symptoms on your plants. By fall, you should be able to start seeing it where it's spreading out from your initial release site. Once you do get establishment, you can mow the bindweed, and this will actually help spread the bindweed gall mite throughout your property. With the bindweed mite, over time, it will start reducing the vigor and vitality of this bindweed, and it will become less aggressive. And so other plant species will then fill in the void where this bindweed was. To learn more, or to purchase bindweed gall mites, contact your local Colorado State University Extension Office.